Hey everyone, Pat Sam. Welcome to the Inbox Review. Today we're going to be looking at Alpha Models 124th Audi RS7 Sportback. So yes, this kit was very kindly sent to me for review and build by Alpha Models. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I've built the RS4 and the RS6 uh, estate or event, I think they call it, aren't they? And when I seen this one released, I was like, oh, I have to get that one. So here it is today. So we're going to have a quick look through the box, uh, have a discuss about what we find, and we'll come back for some final thoughts at the end. Colour choice for me on this, because I am building this next, is Pro Scale Paints Merlin Purple, which is a Stunningly nice colour. So go to Pro Scale Paints, have a look at all our colours over there. There's a link in the description down below. Anyway, let's go on with the review and have a look. Okay, it's another Alpha Models kit to review. Today we've got Audi's RS7 Sportback, uh, 24 scale, brand new kit from Alpha Models. Just came to me oh, about a week ago. Uh, very kind of supplied by Alpha Models for review. Nice depiction of the real car on the front of the box. We've got their like schematic drawing on the side and the awful colour rendering on the other side, which I absolutely hate, to be honest, but never mind. So I've had a quick look through this. It looks to be a rather nice kit. So we've got our instructions. We've got plenty of bubble wrap as per usual. We've got clear parts, some resin parts, our wheels, so on and so forth. We've got the main body shell, more packaging. They do not skimp on the bubble wrap and then the goodie bag of all the photo etch and whatnot in there. So if I put that over there out of the way, we can have a little look in the box at what we actually have. So first off, we'll start off with the body shell, protected in two bubble wrap bags, which is normally plenty of protection for these. I'll just move all this stuff out of the way. So this is a big car. I mean, end to end, this thing is... About 20 centimetres long. It's a big car. Really nice chunk of resin. We've got a few bits of flashy resin that just need cleaning up. But to be honest, it just rubs off of your finger anyway. And uh, It is a big, impressive body shell piece of resin. Absolutely lovely. Now I've been through this and checked all the parts. Uh, no physical damage that I saw. Uh, this body shell will need a good clean up, a good scuff up and a degrease. But overall... Pretty flawlessly cast. Absolutely beautiful. And they are cast. You can normally see the pore stubs. Uh, where are they on this? Well, there they are there. A few there as well. Uh, and I'm assuming they're hand cleaned up because the resin is absolutely superb quality. Beautiful looking machine, this. Very potent car. And yeah, really nice body shell. We've got our interior tub. Not much to look at here, really. Again, flawlessly cast, and again, just pops in here like so. And then our floor pan with some detail underneath. So you can paint that up should you wish as well. And yeah, that goes together, no problem. We'll start with some of the resin bits. And like I say, excuse me, I'm recovering from the flu, so my chest is terrible at the minute. Uh, yes, so bear with me. So we've got the front and rear seats. We've got a bit of broken resin, which is always good. So, really nice seats. Nice bit of surface detail on those. Absolutely lovely. Very, very nice. We've got the rear bench as well. Again, really nice detail in those two. Lovely. Very cool. We've got the center console. And then the dashboard. Right, so we've got a seat belt that snapped off one of the seats. So that's not good, but that can be glued back on. And then, more annoyingly, the binnacle of the uh, instrument panel has snapped off, but that should quite literally glue back in place there with no problem at all, because it's snapped off cleanly as resin does. That will almost fit back in there without you even noticing. So, as I always say, we're going through these kits, if you find any loose bits of resin, put them back in the bag. Even if you think it's a bit of rubbish, just put it back in the bag. You never know when you come to build the kit that it's a piece of resin important like these bits. Uh, like I say, with resin, because it breaks so cleanly, you can often just glue it back in place. So, yes, very important. 
Another bag of bits, we've got our door cards here. Look at the size of the door cards on this thing. Huge. Again, really nice detail. Lovely. Very, very nice. We've got what looks to be our rear partial shelf. Very nice. Got our exhaust system there. Those big, iconic over the exhausts. Beautiful. Our wheel hubs as well. <coughs> ah, front disc uh, calipers, sorry, by the look of it, big ones. A nice bit of detail on those as well. We can focus. Come on, focus. <coughs> Lovely. Discs, nothing really to write home about because they'll be photo etch, which I'm going to guess to be carbon ceramic on this. Some grills. Nice honeycomb grills there, nice detail. Lovely. And then the front grill as well for the front of the car. Which again, really nice cast resin in there. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. We'll pop that back in its bag as well. So, as I always recommend with these kits, and you'll see it in a minute when you go to the instructions, is when you buy them, go through and check off every single part. Make sure that everything is there. And nothing is missing because sadly once these kits go out of production getting spare parts alpha models becomes a bit more reluctant to send you them from my experience so yes make sure you check everything there when you've got it right so we've got lights front and rear really nice light clusters there beautiful detail lovely we've got our steering wheel which is off its sprue again nice detail Got a whole host of buttons, switches. There's a shark fin antenna for the roof. What have you there? There's the sprue that the steam wheel came off, which has the instrument display and the door mirrors. Lovely. We've got a bit of a center console piece. Fantabulous. Uh, they look like handbrake. Are they handbrake calipers? I can't quite tell. Handbrake calipers and interior mirror by the look of it. Got an armrest. We've got the steering column. Looks like other parts of mirrors there. Is that the top half of the mirror? It is. So they've molded the mirrors separately, which is nice because I think they're carbon. Got door handles. Some more little bits. I don't even know what they are. My bad. There we go. Uh, it looks to be some sort of, looks like it's a steering wheel. Yeah, it's the center of the steering wheel. So that's cool. Let's get that separate. Another piece of trim and two other little tiny bits. I'm getting concerned. I haven't seen any other brake calipers. Do we only? What's going on there? Let's have a little look while we're here. Oh, okay, no handbrake. They are the rear calipers. No, look like a handbrake caliper to me. Fair enough. At least they're there. That's the important bit. So it must have uh, electronic parking brake in. Possibly. I don't know. I am guessing. Because I have absolutely no idea at all. The last little bag of bits, and we're onto the wheels and the clear parts. Part of my phone, let's just knock that off. There we go. How unprofessional. Right, lots of thin bits of resin here. So we've got side skirts. Two of those. We've got some look like door handles. For the interior, we've got a spoiler bit for the bottom. I'm guessing this is some sort of light trim. My god, that's a bit of wonky resin, isn't it? That'll be interesting to do. We've got more door armrest. We've got loads of little pokey bits. I'm going to pretend to know what they are. And some more trim pieces here as well. I'm going to guess their interior for the doors. So again, very, very nicely molded resin. Absolutely stunning. And it is poured resin because it is on lock pour stubs. And to pour resin of that quality 
takes some skill to be honest. Uh, a lot of the poured resin you get from other manufacturers looks terrible. So it just shows you the skill in uh, pouring resin there. Very, very cool. Right, wheels. <coughs> Let's have a look. So we've got four wheels. Very low profile tyres there as well. Are they all the same? They all look to be exactly the same. Very, very smart wheels on this. Nice big wheels to fill the arches as well. Really, really cool. Flawlessly cast. Absolutely stunning. Very, very nice. No tire markings, like I say, very low profile, but very, very clean tires. No cleanup required there. Just a few wisps of flash on the wheel to clean up. Absolutely beautiful. So they're going to look really, really well. Let's get that in there. In you go. And then we've got the clear bits. So we've got a rear light piece there. One big, big piece. That's a massive piece of clear resin. Not too bad, quite clear. Loads of little pieces. Another long piece. My God, headlights, taillights. So the resin, it's not too bad on this. I've seen a lot worse, but it could always be better. It's a little bit, a little bit hazy, but definitely not the worst I've seen. Give it a clean up with some IPA or what have you, and you'd be good to go. And then the rear lenses as well. So yeah, clear resin, not too bad in this kit at all. Really not bad at all. Pop that in there. There we go. Yes, yeah, the clear parts looking good. All the resin looks absolutely fantastic. We've got our screws there as well for attaching the body. And then we've got our decals and all our goodies in here. So we'll have a quick look for all this. Excuse me, my watch is driving me around the bend. Let me tighten it up a little bit. There we go. Keeps moving around on my wrist. Right, so in here we have all the goodies. We've got all the photo etch. There we go. So there's our clear acetate for the windows. Probably the worst part of these kits, but once you've done a few, it becomes a lot less daunting, a lot easier. Oh, there's a sunroof, just realised. Sunroof on the roof. That's where you normally find them. We've got photo etch with huge window trims, all the grills, the brakes, window wipers, uh, so on and so forth. I know somebody who's obsessed with window wipers. So he'll be happy about that. We've got those lovely trims for the wheels, which are very, very cool. So they'll be getting used as well. Very, very nice. We've got the nameplate, center hubs for the uh, discs, paddle shifter, uh, pedals, pedal box, number plates there as well. Really nice addition. And we've got the brass seat belts, which I never ever use because I hate them. We've got tiny bits of PE trim. My God, there's some small bits in there. That'll keep me busy, that's for sure. Very nice. And then PE uh, Audi grills, uh, badges, sorry. And seat belt buckles, RS7 badge, etc., etc. And then some metallic uh, decals here. Well, they're nice. They are very nice. Lovely metallic decals there. So they're water slide, and these are self-adhesive. So the difference is, uh, somebody's asked me, so they were my patrons, uh, you get clear film on the sticky ones, and you don't on the decals. So if you look like this, a water slide. If they look like this, you either cut them out, rub them on, and peel them off, or you can just peel them off, depending on your skill level. But yes, good to get both of those. And then, most importantly, because the car's got carbon on it, pre-cut carbon. Absolute lifesaver. Not a huge amount of it, but enough. And then really nice trim for the interior, as you can see. We've got the paddle shifters, RS badges, center console, instrument panels. Yes, lots of bits there. Wheel, RS logos, everything there. Like I say, most importantly, pre-cut carbon for all the bodywork. 
absolute lifesaver, time saver, just absolutely amazing stuff. So yes, that will save a lot of faffing about. Now, make sure you keep all these parts together. Uh, keep them in a bag until you're ready to use them because there's lots of little bits to lose in there, like these decals. Keep everything away safe. Uh, make sure orientate it the correct way. There we go. Seal it back up and then put the decals somewhere safe as well. Right now we've got the instructions. These aren't instructions. They are a very vague guide on how to build the kit. Uh, they are 100% not instructions. So as you can see, when I get the kit, I get everything out and check off every single part. Those bits are there. I'm going to mark that actually because I did mark it off and I know I've just seen them. And then, yes. So go through, mark everything off, make sure you go everything. Because like I say, further down the line, you will not get spares from Alpha Models. Trust me, I know. Uh, we've got interior build here. It's up to you where you start. I always start on the body myself. They move on to the interior. So with these kits, the dashboard's usually one unit. The floor piece with the seat is another. Door cards another. So it tends to be. Uh, you're going to have to test for everything, but the interior goes in after the door cards, after the dashboard. You're going to have to figure it out yourself because there's no set way these work. But the instructions are quite clear. shows you all the PE, shows you the decals. It's a busy interior on this. I can tell by looking at the amount of stuff that's inside. So this is going to turn out really nice. Uh, I've not decided on interior colour yet. Exterior colour, I am going for Pro Scale. Merlin Purple, which is this beautiful purple color but interior I might just do standard black i don't know yet uh we will see but there we go assembly of everything getting those rear lights and there's that weird piece of resin for the back so that's going to need test fitting making sure it fits there's those lights going in and then we've got the exterior parts the grills that front splitter all the lights the window wipers the windows so on and so forth so yeah all going together well there and then all the brakes getting assembled, the wheels, all the different parts of the wheels, which is quite a few, and then decal placement at the end. And there we go. There's Alpha Models kit. Typical Alpha Models. Uh, awful instructions. Great looking parts. And hopefully should all fit together relatively drama free. And there we go. What can we say about that? Well, typical Alpha Models. Uh, great quality resin. Great quality photo etch, decals, etc. Just let down down by those poor instructions um i know they have started to release like uh how to books and guides on how to build the kit which is a help uh, but you definitely need to be careful when building these that you don't adhere to those instructions fully uh, my advice would be test fit everything multiple times before you commit to any glue especially the interior dashboard normally in first door cards put the seats all on the floor pan and then pop it all in and it should fit in just be very, very careful. I've been burnt a few times now, and it's very easy to do. But I think this will go together well. In the Pro Scale Merlin Purple, I think this thing's going to look absolutely immense. Not sure on wheel colour yet. I've not fully decided. Or interior colour, but I'll have a think, and uh, we'll see what we're going to do. Like I said, this is next on the bench for me, so you'll see this over on my Patreon first. And then, sadly, in about six months, over on International Scale Modeler. So... Yes, if you want to get early access to this build, you can put a Patreon link down below. There's loads of perks listed here right now. Um, so you can become a member, get early access, exclusive videos, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, there we go. As always, there's links to everything down below in the description from ProScale Paint, UMP Retail, to all the social media associated with myself. Email address, again, touch me should you wish. Got any requests for paints? Drop me a message as well, because uh, I am I know, the owner of Pro Scale Paints with my partner Hannah. Um, and there's links to everything else down there associated with me. Literally everything. Uh, and of course, as always, make sure you sub to the channel, click the bell notification, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment. Love reading all your comments on the reviews and builds. Uh, and as always, thank you to all my wonderful patrons whose names are going to flash up on screen right now. There we go. Thanks for watching today. Enjoy your day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.